Hello everybody, and this is Sir, and welcome to another Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. Um, I thought about doing this at the same time I do Sonic Unleashed, because I think it's time to move on to another RTS, and, and this, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, is... It's very close to my heart. It's probably my favorite RTS ever. Um, I play this countless hours uh, when I was younger and I have been playing it since I, I still play it today occasionally <laughs> not that often but you know it's just, it's just pure awesome it's actually the second game in the Command & Conquer Tiberium universe uh, the first Command & Conquer game that ever was developed was Command & Conquer Tiberium Dawn which, which was released in 1995 I think and then Westwood Studios made uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert, the first Red Alert in like 96 or 97 or something. And then, um, they, they were working on this game, Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun, which, which was supposed to be the sequel to that first Command & Conquer game, Tiberian Dawn. But uh, at that time, EA, you know, started to take over Westwood and unfortunately EA uh, forced Westwood to push out, this, uh, basically, basically release it before Westwood actually wanted to release it, like, they didn't feel it was done yet, but EA forced them to release it, so they released Tiberian Sun anyway, so it, it's still a great game, but, you know, Westwood wanted it to be so much more, and it's, it's still, it's awesome, it's very close to my heart, and it's awesome, it's actually older than Red Alert 2, R Red Alert 2 came out a few years later, uh, it does share the same game engine, I think, and uh, graphics are kind of the same, and everything, uh, except for this is a little bit older, so the engine is a little bit older. Uh, but it's basically plays the same as Red Alert 2. And there is an expansion for Tiberian Sun called Firestorm. I will uh, I will play that one too, but we will start with Tiberian Sun. So, okay, let's do it. Okay, this is Tiberian Sun, and the only RTS I played uh, mid let's play of it's Riddler 2 and that's in the Riddler series. So here's another series of Command Conquer games uh, which takes place in the Tiberian universe. And in the Tiberian universe it's more it's more sci-fi uh, serious like dark and apocalyptic than Riddler. The Riddler series is more like oh let's make a crazy wacky universe you know kind of like Cold Wars and whatnot, you know, allies fighting Soviets and whatnot. But this is nothing. Uh, this is nothing like that. This is more like a futuristic sci-fi thing where there is a substance, an alien substance called Tiberium, that came to Earth in the first game through a meteor and changed the world. And basically, there there there, there are two factions uh, here on Earth that's in war. Uh, it's a it's the Brotherhood of Nod. Uh, they have the symbol, uh, scorpion tail. Um, they are an ancient uh, cult thing that uh, basically think that Tiberian is the next step of human evolution and they embrace Tiberian and they worship it, kinda. And the Global Defense Initiative. Basically, you can. It's kinda like NATO or something, you know, basically, it's like the world countries come together to try to save mankind from this Tiberian infestation and they also do not share the same vision as Nod does. <laughs> so they're in a war basically. And it's kinda awesome. I like it very much. Um like you know like good versus evil. Uh but then again who is the evil one and who is the good one? That's uh that's up to you, more or less. Um my favorite faction is the Brotherhood of Nod, because I like their units and tactics much more than I like them. CGI, because CGI is more focused on you know, heavy firepower and like rolling in the base. Nod is more sneaky stealth, you know, blah blah blah. Anyway, I was thinking to do the campaign, of course. Uh, this time we're gonna play on hard. I played Riddler 2 in normal difficulty. <laughs> I know that was that was lame, but I'm gonna play this on hard actually, because I feel I can do it. Um, though I enjoy the Brotherhood of Nod campaign much more, I'm gonna do the. GDI campaign first because that's like the canon, that's like the main, like uh, the next Command Conquer game continues uh, the story if 
you played a GDI campaign basically. Not if you played another campaign. So we'll start with the GDI campaign actually. Uh, let's just get down with the business, I think. Yeah, let's do it. And of course, there are awesome cutscenes in this game too, as there are in Ruler 2. This takes place in 2030. The first Command Conquer actually takes place at present time, I think. Apparently some some GDI station got attacked. Makes no sense. Hot spots everywhere. Why Southwest Sector 9? Someone damaged the spur channel so Oh this guy. What the hell is this? That's you know Solomon, that's like the I don't know. What's up the main street? That's Kane, that's the leader of the Brotherhood of Nod. It'd be a sad error in judgment, General Solomon, to mistake me for a corpse. My judgment is sound, Kane. And I'm not afraid of ghosts or you. Perhaps you should be. I've seen the future. Our Tiberian future. And as you watch this battle just beginning to unfold, I've already seen the final act. It is my destiny to lead the way for all mankind. Mankind has forgotten you, Kane. <laughs> 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 Basically, either I thought like Nod was, you know, almost wiped out, and you know, thought Kane was dead and whatnot, because uh, they think he died in the first Command and Conquer. They bomb him with an iron cannon. <laughs> That's McNeil. <laughs> that's the Kodiak, that's like a GDI's mobile command uh, ship or whatnot. General Solomon on secure channel four. Good to see you again, Mac. I wish it were under better circumstances. It's a light show, alright. More than that. It's Kane. Sir? It's Kane. Lost contact with Phoenix at 0800 Zulu. I'm not losing that base, Matt. I'll give you a squad of our best jump troopers to clear the way for your arrival. Good luck, Commander. The game's afoot. Let's kick some ass. Let's kick some ass. Awesome. So basically, EDI has a giant space station up in space, that one, uh, called the Philadelphia. And that's where, like, they operate everything and, you know, basically it launches these little tubes. Anyway, here we are in game, actually. Standby. You see, it kind of looks like Riddler too, but it's more dark and you know, apocalyptic. You see that green stuff at the bottom there? That's the Tiberium. It actually, it's blue Tiberium too. Well, but whatever, we'll come to that later. Where the hell are those reinforcements? Where the hell are those reinforcements? I love that line. I don't know how many times I played this mission. It's not, sir. They came out of nowhere. We have to get back to the base and rebuild the refinery and barracks before they hit us again. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Oops. There we go. Oh my god, return to base. So this place is actually like uh Red Alert 2, you know, you control in the same way, you have the sidebar, you build buildings and whatnot. Um one thing I shouldn't uh, mention about this game, um you remember me saying that EA forced Westwood to rush out this game before they thought it was even finished. So they had to remove a bunch of stuff from the game. And a bunch of stuff I re-added through... Uh, it's very simple. You just go into the game files. And there are a bunch of ENI files. Uh, you can uh, configure with like notepad or whatever. And you can change the settings a little bit for some buildings. For example, these light posts. You're not, you're not supposed to be able to build those. Uh, originally you were supposed to build those, but you know, yeah, yeah he fucked up. So, uh, so, so I re-add them. And same for the sandbags, you're not supposed to be able to build sandbags, you see these. But I, I do it anyway, because I think it's cute. And these, these light 
spotlight alarm towers. You're not supposed to build those either, but I re-added them too. So those are the buildings I re-added. This is the refinery. And, and as in Red Alert 2, you get a... You don't get a... You don't get a war collector, you get a harvester basically, that harvests Tiberium, of course. Um, and here are the sentry turrets. Component tower, sorry. Component tower with the sentry gun on top of it. Uh, basically, GI's basic defense. And here's the light infantry. You can kinda... That's like the basic infantry of this game. Um, oh, what the fuck? The basic infantry of the game. It's kind of like the the conscript or the GI from, Blur, from Red Alert 2, you know. Uh, both Nod and GDI has them. That's the Nod light infantry. Both sides have them. They're kind of useless in my opinion, but you know. In great numbers, you know, they're, they're okay. And this is the Wolverine. It's, uh, it's a GDI walker. Oh, and here's an attack buggy. Nod's resemblance of that kind of. Um, anyway, this is the Wolverine. It's a small walker uh, with machine guns. Effective versus infantry. Obviously. So in this game, you harvest Tiberian, not ore, but it works the same way. You get a harvester. It works the same way. Uh, anyway, this light post. I want to show you this. You can build a normal light post to light up the place, but you can also do a yellow light post to do a little yellow light because EGI, yeah, you know, they have, they, have that, they have the color yellow as their yellow color. So I tend to do this to make the base look more yellow, you know. So I'm, I like it like that. And as in Riddler 2, I will not, I will not try to make the episodes too long. I'll just, I'll try to record like half. Oh. Awesome, there comes some meteors. Awesome. So there's some generic stuff that doesn't uh, exist in uh, For example, there are there are random meteors coming, there are lightning storms. No, uh, I think they call ion storms. <laughs> and whatnot. So it's kind of awesome. The game feels more uh, atmospheric in my in my opinion. It, it has more atmosphere than, than World War 2. And I think the Nod base is up here. Yeah, you can see it's all red. There's a tag buggy again. And the thing is, I play on hard difficulty, and when you play on hard difficulty, the Nod units are actually better than your units. So, a GDI infantry versus a Nod infantry, one on one, Nod in the Nod infantry will actually win. Um, actually, so that would happen when you play on hard mode. Basically, the enemy units are better than yours to make it harder. And when you play normal, it's like. Yeah, they're they're equally good, and when you play easy, yours are a little better. Compensate, and also you need to be Silas in this game. You didn't have to do it in Red Alert 2, but there's a maximum. You see, you see, this bar is the health bar of the building, but this bar on the refinery is the is the um, amount of Tiberian it's able to hold, like in storage. You see, I have 3,000 credits. Uh, I think I can hold up to 4,000 or something. But when that when that reaches maximum, and when the harvester loads, I don't get more money. I need to build more silos to increase my maximum capacity. Basically. Awesome. I think I'll win the, m the mission now, though. No, oh, there's some non forces left. And so here, this was a destroyable cliff. Uh, oops. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool! Here's an old, old nod. Ba th basically, these buildings are what the refinery and the power plants looked like in the original Command and Conquer. That's kind of awesome that they, you know, like out of that little thing. You know, this is like the old nod base, and this is the new old nod base. You know, it's, it's kind of cool. I like that. It's kind of cool. And these are the power plants. You have power plants. Oh, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I haven't showed off this game yet. You are gonna die, you are gonna die. Woohoo! Mission accomplished! <laughs> oh, these are the cyborgs. You saw those. You saw those at the beginning. That's an odd infantry. There's an awesome cutscene where a dropship comes down and this guy kills those cyborgs one shot. Uh, can't happen in game though, but. <laughs> oh, these. Uh, Mission efficiency, like screens are awesome. 
Ooh. My name is Irv. Oh, look at the casualties. Awesome. 25 Nod units dead and only 8 GDI units. That's good. Okay, let's see if this Nod or Cutscene. Nice job, McNeil. Nod is on the run. And I wish we could say the same for Phoenix. We just recovered this transmission. Smile for the camera, Commander. We must look our best when the Brotherhood comes to visit. The least you could do is wear a tie. Ew. That drug dealing animal hey, is. Yeah. King of the eye candy trade. He's been dealing that poison for years. Looks to me like he's his old best customer. Get back there, take out the SAM sites, then destroy the Nod base. The Ava unit has the data. The Ava unit has the data. Oh, this is awesome. You see this map? I love this. This is awesome. And I love this music here. Uh, it's basically called Map Theme. It's awesome. The, the music in this game is awesome. It's composed by Frank Capacchi, the same guy who made the Red Alert 2 music. Na na. So this is like uh, before every mission, you're allowed. You the Nod forces that attacked our Phoenix base are in this sector. Their base must be destroyed in order to secure the region. However, there is a significant civilian population requiring evacuation. Mm -hmm. GDI transports will evacuate the civilians once all Nod sand sites are destroyed. The Nod base can then <coughs> be safely terminated. Cool. Uh, basically, before every mission, uh, sometimes you have an option to attack either like at that position or that position or that position. You can choose. Oh, shut up. So, so you can choose. Um, before every mission, to do like extra missions before you do the main mission, if you want to. And, and you can see this is uh, this is actually America, so uh, you actually fight in the real world, uh, as in real life too. And I think it's kind of awesome they do this. They did this in actually the first Command and Conquer too. They had like a world map, and you know, it's just awesome. Anyway, let's do this. But I will do this mission mission in the next episode. So I guess I'll see you then. So yeah, bye bye.